Chairman Chabot is a, is a rescue for Chairman Chabot. We would rescue rehabilitate and bring you home. We started up about eight, eight or nine years ago. Um, we work closely also with people with mental health. The fellow that started, well, the fellow who was helping me at the start of this was a, a heroin mm. addict. And uh, he got me a program with a method though and done very, very well. He continued to work on me for a couple of years and then he sort of excelled into uh, a counselling role mm. for people with all addictions. So he moved forward. A lot of our supporters and, well, mainly our volunteers um, would be sufferers from some form of past trauma. You don't get funding, like a main source of funding, do you? No. It's all just relying on what people it's give? It's all public public donations. Um, it was one, of the, one of the supporters, uh, Kim, decided to put this few bucks of pay light. And uh, it's, it's, it's proved to be very successful. This is Craig. Craig is our current cruelty case. Craig Alvin uh, Council got reports of a dog being neglected. So when the, when the authorities went down, they found this boy at the back. And he was neglected and he was in a really bad state. He came in the also 22.5 kg. And how, how much should a German Shepherd generally weigh? Well, you're talking to me roughly 40 kg. 45. Currently we have him up to 36.5 kt. So he's basically, he's well on his way. He's well on his way to recovery, yep. Gemma, what is your role within the German Shepherd Rescue? I just volunteer and then I would take some of the ones that are having one-to-one -one with people to get them used to people again. I take them into the field and do some stuff with them, some work with them. Sort of helps get them the wee basis of where, yeah. whenever somebody's coming up, that's going to possibly adopt them. How would you come into this? How did you discover the rescue? I adopted one of them. Okay. Well, she was in foster, so she never really made it up to here. So I came up with the guy that I'd got her off, mm -hmm. who was her foster. And then it's been coming up ever since. And then I've got another one now from her as well. I got her last year, Tally, so she's about a year and a half now as well. So now I've got the two of them. <laughs> so um, how long have you been volunteering here for? Just over 12 months. Just over 12 months? Yes. And how did you get to know the rescue? Um, I think it was word of mouth. I met a lady um, with a German Shepherd. How much time would you spend generally here? Like within a I week? do Friday and Saturday. Okay. Um, Friday and Saturday, yes. And like, it, I'm retired, so it's wonderful. I would never go back to work for love and the money. No. No. <laughs> no. No, especially. In the I think th this is this is probably more fulfilling than the nine Very to five. Much. Yeah, I didn't do nine to five. I did nights for thirty seven years. Oh, okay, so definitely more appealing. Oh yes. Yeah, definitely yes. So, how do you think that volunteering at the rescue has affected your life? It's enhanced my life. Um, more peaceful. It's better than being with people. Um, not very good with humans, um, it's peace. You come up here and you can be out of the way 